Welcome to Patterns in a Graph video. Okay. Let's review what we have discussed the last time. Okay. We said last time that patterns are also functions and they are predictable. Okay. So there are five types of patterns. Number sequences, numbers in tables, geometric figures, linear graphs, numbers in real life situations. So you have all these different types of patterns or you can find patterns in these five uh, that are given to you. Okay. In the past lessons, you've already seen patterns in number sequences. You have seen patterns in numbers in tables and this is your input and output table or function table. You have also seen geometric uh, patterns in geometric figures and so in this video we're going to look at patterns in linear graphs as well as learn how to make graphs from a rule or a function okay so let's remember that a function is a relation that assigns exactly one values one value of y to each value of x so for every y value, there's an x value. Okay, let's look at a real life situation graph. So what you have here is yellow taxi, the payment that you give to a yellow cab versus blue cab. Now, I know that the color looks green, but let's call it blue. Okay, now you have two axes. This one at the x axis you'll find the number of miles and then at the y-axis here you will find the total cost or in dollars like how much you pay okay. now while we are looking at the linear graphs we're going to look at our x and y value okay so that's your x axis there and then this is your y okay Let's look at our x, the numbers of the number of miles. So from zero mile, which is here, let's move up and at the y-axis you will see the value five. So at zero, at zero, it's five dollars. So I'm going to put that in the y column. Okay, now at the x-axis we're looking at one. Okay, that means one mile. You go up and it's at 6, so that means that, so I put 6 over there, for a mile, they have to pay $6 for the blue cap, the service of the blue cap. Okay. Now, let's move on to the second one, or the third one, sorry. Two miles, and miles are in the, the y-x axis, sorry. Okay, let's move up. And at the y-axis, it's 8. So that means, okay, 2, sorry, I think I showed it. From 2, we go up, and then it should be 7 in y. So $7. At 3 miles, 3 miles, you go up, and y is 8. Okay, 4 miles, you go up over here and then you move horizontally and you have nine dollars so now we have seen that these are the number of miles and this is how much you're going to pay the blue taxi or the blue cab now you have also learned how to write the rules or the function now and to write the rules I have given you some guidelines okay the first one the first step is to make a table and we already have the table the next step in the guidelines that I have given you is to find the difference for your y value. So what's the difference from 6 to 5? What's the difference from 6, 7 to 6? Then 8 to 7. So from each, there we go. And the difference 6 to 5 is 1. Same thing on the second one, 7 and 6, another one. 8 and minus 7 is 1. Okay, for the third step in your guideline, 
we say let's multiply the difference to the x value. So let's start with the first x value. It's 1 times 0, you get a 0, and then come up with a statement, either a plus, an operator, whether a plus or a minus, so that you will get the value 5. So to get the value 5, we need to do plus 5. So at this moment, we are saying 1x plus 5. Okay, let's try it with the second one. 1 times 1, which is 1, plus 5 will give you 6. So we are on the right track. Let's try it on the third one. 1 times 2, which is 2, plus 5 is 7. Okay, so that means we are on the right track. We already checked three values. Okay, and that's what we said. Let's check it for at least three values. So we have 1x plus 5. Remember that if it's 1x, you do not have to write 1. So you can write your rule or function as y is equal to x plus 5. Again, you don't have to write the 1 here. But if you want, you can do so. If you are getting confused, write the 1 here so you can do 1x plus 5. Okay, let's check this rule for 3. 1, 1 times x, which is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8. Now x, your x is 4, 4 plus 5 is 9. So we have the right rule or right function. Okay, now let's have another example. Okay, ah, this means y is your cost is equal to number of miles plus $5. Now, let's move on to the next example. Okay, this time you are given the function table or the input-output table. We don't need to write the rules. What we need to learn from here is how do we graph, okay? So, I'm going to put the coordinate plane. Remember that you have your x-axis here and you have your y-axis here. We already had a unit wherein you learned how to graph the x and y coordinate. Okay, now let's have the first coordinate that will be 0 and negative 6. So this is your x coordinate and this is your y coordinate. We have it here. So where is 0 and negative 6 when we graph it? There you go. 0 at x and negative 6 on y. Okay, the second co pair. Of your coordinate that will be 2 and negative 3 let's have it okay so your x is 2 the x is here that's 2 and your y is negative 3 so you move down so you plot the point there you go third pair of your coordinates x is 4 and y is 0 okay so looking at the x-axis that's 4 when your y is 0, so you don't move, let's have the point, okay. The last pair or last coordinate, okay, is 6, 3, okay. Let's find 6 in the x-axis, here's 6, and then let's find 3 in your y, that will be here, and then here comes your point, okay. I hope that's easy, okay. So now... I'm going to give you the rule or the function y is equal to 4x minus 2. The next one is you have the function table. You are given the values of x. So stop the video and I want you to complete the table by finding the values of y following the rules or satisfying the rule y is equal to 4x minus 2. Stop the video now. Okay, let's check, uh, let's check your work. When your x is 2, your y is 6. Did you get the correct answer? When your x is 1, your y is 2. Okay, check. Did you get 2? Okay, if not, what you have done is replace x by 1. So 4 times 1 is 4 minus 2, so it should be 2. Okay, next, check. When your x is 0, your y is negative 2. So 4 times 0 is 0 minus 2. You'll get negative 2. 
Okay, how about when x is negative 1, your answer should be negative 6. Okay, stop the video again or pause it. And I would like you to draw a coordinate plane in your graph paper and start plotting the points. Okay, because you have four pairs, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, you should plot four different points in your coordinate plane. Okay, stop or pause the video now. Okay, we're back. Let's check your coordinate plane and see if you have plotted the points correctly. Let's have the coordinate plane. You have your x axis and then y axis. I put it there just to remind you where they are. Okay, now let's have the first point that will be 2, 6. Okay, that's your 2, 6 and 2, 6 in the coordinate plane is over there. You have your x axis here too and then y is 6. The next point is 1, 2 and that should be down there. Okay, x is 1 and then your y is 2. Third point, this pair, 0 and negative 2, it's green, I will have a green point over there, okay, check your work. The last point is negative 1, negative 6, it's pink, so we'll have a pink dot, okay, check your work. If you want to connect the dots, connect them, use a straight line. Straight line tells you that we have a pattern that we are following here. Okay? If you have everything correct, well done, great job, excellent. If you are getting confused, remember, the important thing is that you are being responsible with your own learning. If you are confused and you don't get it and you're still confused with X and Y, don't hesitate to watch this video again slowly and all the problems, do it by yourself. Use your notebook, write them down, okay? Use your notebook as a tool for your learning, okay? Now, time to check your understanding, okay? Go and use your textbook, solve problems number one to three, all of them on page 230, exercise 804. If you have questions, please ask me and I'll explain it to you or watch the video again. Go back to the portion or part wherein you know that that part can answer your question. Okay, good job, excellent.